Hey girl, it's Raya Morel, and girl, in today's video, I will be sharing with you my top 10 must-have Chrome extensions for students. Actually, girl, this isn't just for students. This is for anyone who is looking for Chrome extensions that can help you be more productive, more organized, more efficient. Girl, don't worry, I got you. I'm gonna share with you the best of the best, in my opinion. And if you guys don't know, I actually made a video like this, I think, a year or two ago. But today's video is gonna feature a few different extensions because honestly my top 10 a year or two ago has definitely changed a lot of the extensions I realized I just didn't use anymore and for some of them I found even better versions of them so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today but of course before we begin if you have not yet subscribed to this channel I would love to have you be a part of our little family so make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it who get notified every single time I post a video Saturday 2 p.m. So let's get on with this video, which is brought to you by Grammarly. The first extension is Google Mail Checker. Google Mail Checker basically shows you how many unread emails you have. And this is very, very, very helpful for people like me who like to clean out their emails. So for me, I try to read an email as soon as I get it because I don't like emails building up on my inbox because it makes me feel just very stressed when I see that I have like 20 unread emails. So in my last video, I actually mentioned two types of like Google new mail notification extensions but I chose to stick with the Google Mail Tracker instead because when you click the icon instead of redirecting you to the Gmail website it opens a little window where you can see all your unread mail so it shows you the sender the subject and a little blurb of the text of the email so that feature allows me to just delete emails quickly without even having to go to the Gmail website <laughs> next extension is momentum and oh girl momentum is such a like a it just gives me middle school feels because I've been using this extension since middle school and I honestly just use momentum for aesthetic purposes basically momentum is a window screensaver is that what you call it so instead of having just a super plain and boring window screensaver when you open Google Chrome you'll be greeted with a wonderful gorgeous nature picture they change it every single day so beautiful it's just so calming you know simple things like that simple things like seeing a picture of nature really lifts my mood especially now that we're quarantine and we are stuck at home and there are actually a ton of features that momentum has I just don't take advantage of them because I'm just not used to it but if you want to you can actually put a main goal of the day you can add some tasks it is very customizable so you can check that out and customize it with features that you are going to use our next extension is ad block and it's pretty self-explanatory it blocks ads I find it funny that I am promoting ad block on a YouTube video that has ads <laughs> ad block is is so so helpful because sometimes ads can be really annoying especially when you're researching like disrupts the flow of your reading so having ad block is just it's so good but I do have to say that ad block does have its limitations it actually doesn't work on all websites there are some sites that have like ad blocker detectors so when you go on the site a pop-up will appear saying hey if you want to enter this site you have to turn off your ad block let me know if you have a, an ad block extension that works on all sites comment that down below because I have yet to find one and our last old extension is to do with and to do is is a to do list but I really prefer this extension compared to like having a separate to do list app because it's embedded in Google Chrome it's a Chrome extension so all you have to do is click the icon and a mini pop-up window will appear with your to-do list and I love using this when I'm researching because for example you're researching topic a you find what you need and you're like okay what do I have to search for next instead of having to go back to your document you know switch tabs switch windows you can just simply click the to do is icon on, and then you can see what else you have to research but of course you can use them for other things as well I just personally like to use them when writing research papers but it's totally up to you now for all the newer extensions first we have Grammarly Grammarly is basically your digital writing assistant the free version checks basic spelling and grammar Grammarly premium on the other hand provides in-depth writing feedback to help you be more clear and concise and it even gives vocabulary and formatting suggestions Grammarly 
currently helps more than 20 million people and if you want to be one of them, you can sign up for a free account at Grammarly.com slash RayaMorel and get 20% off Grammarly Premium. So make sure to click my sign up link in the description box below. What I love about Grammarly is it works almost everywhere. It's so helpful for me because you can read your paper like 20 times but the moment you submit it, you read it back and you're like, how did I not spot those mistakes? And it's just like the worst feeling when you literally spot a mistake five seconds after you've submitted it. So Grammarly has been super helpful for that because before I used to reread my emails and my papers like 20 times but now because of Grammarly I only reread it once. I check all the mistakes that Grammarly pointed out and then I read it again to make sure it all flows and that's it. It has saved me so much time. I also love Grammarly because it provides suggestions on word choice. So before when I would write essays and I'd be like oh what's a better more professional smart sounding word for this word. I'd have to go to a separate thesaurus website, search up that word to find a synonym for it. And even though that only takes a few seconds, those few seconds feel like hours when you are rushing and panicking. So what I love about Grammarly is all I have to do to find a synonym, to find a better word, is double click on the word and it'll give me suggestions. That also has just saved me so much time and so much effort. Our next extension is Streak. So if you guys watched my last video, I mentioned an extension called MailTrack. MailTrack and Streak are essentially the same. They both notify you when your email has been read. This is absolutely perfect, number one, for uncooperative cooperative groupmates. You know that one groupmate who claims that he didn't read your email? Girl, you have receipts now. You can be like, what do you mean you didn't read my email? According to Streak, you read it at 7.51 p.m. Number two, this is also great for emailing professors because professors, I swear, are some of the like latest repliers. And I don't blame them because I know that their inboxes are constantly flooded with emails from students. But Streak is great because, you know, sometimes when I send a professor an email, I'm like, is it appropriate for me to you email him again. Streak lets you know that hey, they've already read your email, so you can be like Mr. Blah Blah just to follow up on my last email, or you can visit them the next day and be like, Sir, I see that you've read my email, I just want to follow up on that. Next extension is Picture in Picture, and girl, I don't know why it has taken me so long to discover this extension. Girl, this is the perfect extension for those of us who love multitasking. I'm not proud of it. I really try my best not to multitask but sometimes I just can't help it. This is perfect because it allows you to minimize the window of whatever you're watching. So it works on Netflix, on YouTube. It minimizes it into a tiny window that you can just drag around the screen, resize, and it allows you to watch Netflix or YouTube while doing work. So I love this and I literally use it every single day. <laughs> Next extension, we have Zotero. And I cannot believe that only one professor has recommended this extension because it is literally the best extension for citations. I used to use citation websites like EasyBib, um, Citation Machine, and I thought that was the easiest and best way to make citations until my history professor introduced us to Zotero. Zotero allows you to make citations in literally seconds seconds and you don't have to input anything like on Citation Machine or EasyBib. Basically you download the Zotero app and then you install the Zotero extension and when you're on the journal article for example that you want to cite, all you have to do is click the Zotero extension, it'll open the Zotero app and then you just click the article, select create bibliography and you can choose from literally any citation style. Once you pick one it automatically creates the citation for you. Literally seconds, seconds! Like it's saves so much time and you know it's accurate because my history professor suggested it and she uses Zotero to cite stuff for her thesis, for her like published papers so I know, I know it's accurate. <laughs> Next we have Google Calendar. Now if you've seen any of my recent videos you'll know that I have been so obsessed with Google Calendar lately and this extension girl, even more obsessed with it because once you click the icon a little window will pop up which basically shows you everything on your calendar and it's great because you can quickly see what your calendar is like, how full it is, without having to actually go to the Google Calendar website. <laughs> Lastly, we have Focus To Do. So Focus To Do is a Pomodoro extension. The Pomodoro method is a method of studying that really, really, really helps you be productive. Basically, it's 20 minutes of focused studying, a five minute break, and then you just repeat that. You feel like a robot, but 
a productive robot. I love this extension because it's so easy to set the timer. All you have to do is click the icon. Okay, I actually have a bonus one for you because this isn't actually an extension you install. It's an extension that automatically installs itself once you turn on the feature. That is Google Docs Offline. I just wanted to shout this out because I know that a lot of us are transitioning to Google Docs, especially because classes are fully online this year. But I also know that some of us struggle with unstable internet connection. Google Docs Offline is great because it allows you to view and edit documents even without internet. So definitely recommend that. Now we have the four bonus ones. The ones just for fun. Number one, we have Netflix Parties. Basically, it's an extension that allows you to have online movie nights with your friends. So it shows the Netflix movie and then on the right, there's a little chat box where you can commentate together. The next extension is very similar. It's called C. I actually only found out about this extension recently thanks to my friend Bea. Some of my girlfriends and I have these Netflix movie nights and we used to use Netflix Party but on our last movie night Bea introduced Scene to us so it's basically like Netflix Party the only difference is that it has a video feature so you have the movie on the right you have a chat box but on top of that chat box you have the video so that has been super great because before we'd have Netflix Party but we also have Facebook Messenger open so we can video call while watching the movie so scene is great because it allows us to do both the next extension is currency converter and this is perfect for all of you who love online shopping international websites it just allows you to quickly convert from dollars or euros or pounds to pesos instead of you know going to Google searching up US dollar to peso you can just click the extension and it has a converter there and last extension is honey I actually have used honey when I purchase from Casetify, Colourpop, ASOS, and it really does work. Basically, Honey finds coupon codes for you. It finds the best one, so the coupon code that saves you the most amount of money. So definitely very, very helpful when online shopping. So that's it for today's video. Those are my 15, actually, 15 Chrome extensions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next Saturday, 2 p.m. Bye, girl.